Hello everyone, this is SM North Online Maths. In this lesson, we have this problem to solve. 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equal to 16. So our target is to find the value of x. If this is your first time of viewing, kindly consider subscribing to my YouTube channel so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video, okay? So 4 power x plus 4 power x is equal to 16. Now, notice that this is 4 power x and this is also 4 power x, right? So um, 4 power x plus 4 power x means that this 4 power x is now into two places. So you can call it 2 multiplied by 4 to the power of x because the 4 power x is now double, no more 1, right? Everything is equal to 16. So now you can decide to divide both sides by 2. When you do that, you have over 2 over 2. These two we cancel out, these two we are left with 4 to the power of x equal to 16 divided by 2 is the same thing as what? 8, right? Now let's simplify further. We have 4 power x is equal to 8. So 4 power x can be written as 2 to the power of 2. Then you have a power of x that is here. While 8 can be written as 2 to the power of 3. Because 2 times 2 times 2 into 3 places will give me 8. So again, this is 2 to the power of 2 times x is the same thing as 2x equal to 2 to the power of 3. Now, the basis are the same thing. Therefore, the power should also be the same. So you are not wrong if you write that 2x is equal to 3. I am just equating the powers. So to get x, divide both sides by 2. This we cancel out, x is just 3 over 2. So this is the solution to this problem. You can call it 1.5 or one whole number, 1 over 2. Now sometimes after solving equations, it is nice to test so that you see whether what you've solved is in order. Okay, so let us test to check our answer if our answer is right. So we have 4 power x plus 4 power x. We want to check if... This is actually equal to what? 16. Now, now x is 3 over 2. So that would be 4 power 3 over 2 plus 4 power 3 over 2. Can this give us 16? That's the equation. Can this give us 16? Remember that 4 can be written as 2 to the power of 2. Then you have your power of 3, right? Over 2 plus, let me write 1. This is 3 over 2. Plus the something here, 4 can be seen as 2 power 2. You still have your 3 over 2, which is outside, equal to 16. Now this we cancel out. We have 2 power 3, which is 8. Plus this we cancel out. We have 2 power 3, which is also 8. You can see that both sides will now give us 16. So since both sides are equal, it means that our solution is also correct. Okay. So you can now see that solving problems like this is actually an easy thing to do. If you've enjoyed what you've watched, kindly consider subscribing to my YouTube channel at Esumnoth Online Maths so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Remember, subscription is free. Bye.